Now it's a waiting game. It's a waiting game? Yeah, it's a waiting game. Okay, so this is our Terry. first edition. Terry Talks. Of Terry Talks. We Terry have joint. a three, three people. Emma's on. Emma's on, oh sure. Ah! <laughs> now the pressure is on. The pressure is all the way on now. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no pressure. None. None? Nope. No. Um, we went for a walk today. I'm burnt. I'm kind of tan. Terry, you're already Cuban. So, I just get darker <laughs> as the uh, as time sun. goes on. Time goes on. Um, Terry is off the next week. week. Um, yes, you know you're bored when you come up with Terry talks. That's right. Actually, we went to Home Depot earlier today. We were gonna paint. The living room, but I can't commit to a color, so. So we're gonna Pinterest that. So, if you guys got any color ideas, it's very boring. <laughs> hook us up. Like the house is all the same color. It's all this color, like. It's even the doors on the inside. Beige, boring. Beige and boring. Um. So well, the living room is now my office. So I mean, I guess I gotta think of an office color. We're at Terry's desk right now. We are I mean, not. Everybody knows where Terry's desk right now. <laughs> you post them here all the time in the morning, so. I don't think people have the background memorized. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> I yeah. don't post from my desk like this at all, like this angle. Yeah. Give it time. Okay, Terry. Give it, give it another week. Okay, so, um, for Terry talks, we decided to kind of give like a breakdown of how we met and our first date. And I feel like there's something else. Someone asked how Terry is a Bills fan, so we're gonna get into that. Oh, and then how the whole Terry name started. Can you like act come over right here, here and act like you love me? <laughs> like you're so far away. Right. We're just trying to practice social distancing. That's all it is. <laughs> we're so, trying like, to practice social distancing. That's all it is. Uh, we sleep in the same bed. Not sure how distant. That is. Well, you're like on the other side of the bed too, though, and I'm on one side, and there's like a big gap in the middle. So I guess we kind of practice social distancing. Not really. Okay. That doesn't happen. So, um, and if you have any other questions, you can type them below as we go along. Okay, so the way that this all happened, which is super funny because it's like a year ago now. Um. Oh, hi, Brooke. I'm so excited you're here. It's like we're actually hanging out. Um, so... Oh, she wants to be comfortable. Okay, I think that that happens on accident. No, I don't think it does. Yes, it does. We'll bring y'all in if you guys want. <laughs> Just pick, wave your hand. No, we're not doing like, that. Okay, wait, Terry... Raise your hand if you want to be in the video. Terry's not a teacher for a reason. Okay, I'm not a teacher either anymore. But okay, so the way that this all happened, um, let's first back up by saying that we somehow added each other on Instagram... In the beginning of the year. Well, like in January. Of last year. Of last year. And I was at the beach at one point by myself. And um, I was on the drive. You were driving. To Tennessee. But I think you were already in Tennessee. Well, oh, I, no, was, I think you were driving from Nashville to Gatlinburg. I was driving into Pigeon Forge. On spring break. On spring break. So what actually happened was um, who I was dating at the time, we broke up on Tuesday and went to the beach by myself on Saturday. And I'm sure you've been on Instagram before where you're scrolling, 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 and you're like taking the your finger. The live comes on. The live notification dropped down at the top. And Terry... And the only follower to drop on my live was Terry. So Terry was already mm -hmm. on his live, like driving from... Um, Nashville to Pigeon Forge, Forge and uh, I, w I was like yelling at him. I was like, you need to stop driving living, and living. Living and driving. I told him, I was like, you need to stop living and driving. Now, let me tell you, I had a few marks at this point. So I had all the balls in the world <laughs> to message Terry and tell him to stop living and driving. And it was not even his face. He was just living of his drive. Like the it was view. literally the road. So, the from, Smokies is beautiful, not gonna lie. From that point on, we were just messaging. Um, I was at the beach by myself. Um, we just started messaging on Instagram, and well, we were messaging all over the place because it was okay. So, we had three different conversations. So, what happened was we had met on like Bumble and Tinder because I was we were both on there. 
Um, and I saw a picture of Terry and I, did you have a Bills jersey on? I had the, no, I had a Bills shirt with a Bills hat. He had a Bills shirt, a Bills hat, and he was standing in front of Niagara Falls. And me being from Buffalo, obviously, I added him on all social media platforms that I could find. First, I found his Tinder, but on his Tinder, he had like a Snapchat. And then I think on your Snapchat, I don't know how I found your Instagram, but your phone does this thing when you like add one person here, it's like, oh, you might know this person in these other areas. So we um, just connected on like all of social media basically at that point. Um, it's my phone telling us that we're live. That's all oh, that's your phone telling us that we're live. Telling you that I'm live. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I like, I think I talked to you on Snap Well, first. on Snap, and then I think I started, well, you you messaged me on my live, and then from there we started DMing. No, 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 no. So I had to obviously add you on Instagram first in order to see your live. So what right. had happened was I saw him in front of Niagara Falls in one of his pictures. He had a Bill shirt, Bill's hat. He was in front of Niagara Falls, and I freaked the fuck out. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, are you from Buffalo? Like, I like was on his Snapchat. Oh. I added him on Snap. I messaged him on Snap. I'm from the He was like, no, I'm from Miami. <laughs> and instantly, like, my heart sank because Miami is on the other coast, and it's like a three, two, two and a half, three-hour drive to the other coast. So I thought that he still like lived in Miami and I was like super heartbroken. I was like, what do you mean you're from Miami? Like, I don't live in Miami. I'm confused on how this is happening. Um, but he had found out that well, we had kind of found out because due to your location services when you set Bumble um, or Tinder, they pick people within your certain mileage. And because my work is like super close to 75, which is like the main highway, he figured that at one point he was like driving by on 75 when I was at work and that's how it picked up our locations and like our how close we were. Um, so basically it was like the Saturday after St. Patrick's Day um, or maybe the Saturday after that. Well, no, because so our first date was on April 6th. So it had to be this coming Saturday where... Yeah, it was around I the, was at the beach yeah. by myself, and his live thing popped up, and it we was just a, started talking. End, it was towards the end of March. But we were talking in January. We did talk in January, and then I just kind of like tell him uh, why. Uh, well, no, it was it was just it was just the way I am. I just okay, she's dating somebody or seeing somebody, so you know I'll just you know move right along. How cute! Not so cute. I was dating a douchebag. <laughs> Um, who, it's funny because all my snaps are coming up. I was like, don't ever date someone that picks, picks like weed and video games over you. So, um, I ended that like the Tuesday after St. Patrick's Day. Um, and we had just talked here and there. Like it was like if I was making food or tacos or something, he would say like they look good. But really it stopped from like January to so March. Much, yeah. We didn't, he didn't talk to me at all because I was dating someone. Um, so then obviously when I came out with the snaps that were like, don't date someone that picks video games and weed over you. Which I had no idea. The only time we started talking again was obviously when she jumped on the live. So I like hopped on his live and I told him, you know, don't live and drive on Instagram. Um, and we just started messaging from there. And then I think like a week later he started voice messaging me. And I remember I was in my kitchen and I was like oh my God, like, why are you voice messaging me? Like, I, and then the thought was like, oh, like, I think this is more than like a friend's thing. Like, I think that, like. Well, it's my way of communication. He I'm likes more, to talk. I'm more vocal and like to talk versus texting. I mean, but that's just me though. That's just because you speak Spanish and your English is not that great. No, it's typing. not. My English is just typing. That's what autocorrect is for. What are you talking about? So I remember where I was in my kitchen and he was voice messaging me. And literally, like, his his accent, I was like, it's over. I was like, I'm done. Like, it's done. Like. So what happens when you're Cuban, you're from Miami. <laughs> so I was just like, ah, stop it. Brooke and I voice message all the time. So that's what she's saying. So pretty much we were, like, voice messaging. And one night I got home from the gym, and I was, like, standing on the edge of my bed. And I was like, we need to stop voice messaging. Like, I need to get in the shower. I need to get ready for work. Like, I need to get to bed to get ready for work. And you know when you, like, first start talking to someone and your face is just, like, you can't, like, stop smiling. And the hard thing was is now we're voice messaging, so you can hear it, like, in each other's voice. Um, 
And I don't know how you, like, asked me out. Like, then I don't remember really how that happened. I mean, what can I say? I'm a smooth killer. You're a what? I'm a smooth killer. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we voice message, but then obviously, like, I couldn't voice message him when I was at work and stuff, so... Yeah, that was um, kind of... It was not hard, but so, I would voice message her, and then she would listen to them on her break, and then... She would go on break first, and then I would have, like, five to, like, seven minutes of just, like, like 30-second runoffs. Blah, 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 blah. You did not have five to seven minutes of voice messages for me. A, uh, well, maybe not so much. Probably, like, three minutes. Okay, so, um, I don't know how you even asked me out or how we, like, went out when we did. I really can't remember. I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I must, so have said, funny I must have story. said the right things. Funny story. When we agreed to finally go out, um, we didn't have each other's phone number. Like, we were still DMing on Instagram at that point. I think we moved everything to Instagram. Yeah. But sometimes we would, like, say stuff to each other on Snap. Um, but this was strictly through Instagram. So we knew that we were going to meet on April 6th. And he picked Leroy's, which is, like, where we pretty much go every weekend. Mind you, I was living in Lehigh, and Leroy's is in Punta Gorda. Now, I'm just going to tell you right now, if you're... I don't know why I decided... It was worth the drive. It was worth the drive, but it was, for me, like a 40-minute drive. 40? Yeah, 45 minutes. Drive. From Lehigh to Punta Gorda, it was like a 40-45-minute drive. This, from Port Charlotte to Punta Gorda now, is like 15 minutes. So, I was like, you're lucky that I decided to, to meet you. But what I really liked about him was I have a lot of anxiety about, like, going to a new place and parking. And he didn't really know this, but he sent me, like, a pin of where to park because of how Punta Gorda is set up. Well, There's I a actually, bunch of one-way actually, streets. Well, I gave you – I told you to give me your number. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. What happened? You sent me the – you I told me – I asked you for your number. But you told me, like, where to park. And then I think you either gave me your number or said, like, message me or – Pretty much, we didn't get each other's number until the first date. Like, until we actually were about to meet I had person. to make sure I wasn't being catfish. That's all it is. So, it was okay to keep it on Instagram, <laughs> but a phone number would have just taken it to the catfish level. No. Okay, Terry. So, he like, told me where to park, and as we were, like, walking up, I think I didn't even listen to your directions. I think I just parked... You parked... There. Where you, I wanted to. You parked to. closer to Leroy than I did. So, anyways, you get, like, that, like feeling in your chest we're like oh my god like this is happening and we have been talking since january and now it's april so you have to remember sure like he was being a gentleman and we didn't talk from like january to march but now from like march till april 6th we just had this like we had been talking so i'm like oh my god like there's a lot of pressure on this because we have been talking but then i was like worst case scenario is like we're friends i i don't know right so um we met up at Leroy's, and uh, um, the thing that sold me, which is like a really silly thing, but when we ordered our drinks, there was a bug in my drink, and he like took care of it all for me. He like told the the waiter like there's a bug in her drink, like yeah, you need to get our new one. drink, like he just like took that over completely, and I just thought that that was like super sweet. But what what sold you? What 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 sold you on our first date? Your laugh. No, besides that, you oh, said... Oh, well, besides the laugh, but that she didn't order a salad. She actually ordered a burger. <laughs> Thank I, God. I ordered a burger on our first date, and apparently that was, like... Yes, that was, like, it. okay, perfect. A normal person <laughs> who orders a salad on the first date. Like, ladies, you're going out on a date. Mainly, the guy's going to pay first. Order the fucking steak. That's all I'm telling you. It wasn't a steak, though. It was a burger. I know, but I'm just saying, in general. Okay. You know, order so, the steak. So I can order a steak the next time we go out? I don't know why you've never ordered a steak before. I'm glad you just don't like steak, so I guess it no, works in my I favor. No, I do. It just it has to be cooked the right way. And we went to Prime that time and didn't cook it right, so I'm just kind of... Well, you had a burger that time. Yeah, though. but they still fucked it up. I know. you got to order a steak. They're, it's called Prime Steakhouse. It's not Prime Burger House. Guess what? It was a Prime Steak Burger. Touche. Hmm, okay. So, that's how we met up finally. April 6th was a year ago. And then... Pretty much from there, I mean, like, every other day, like, so, obviously, Terry was still living in Port Charlotte, I was living in Lehigh, but pretty much from that point on, we went to the beach together the next weekend, that was, like, the our first... The real question is, how do you like your steak? 
Um, medium well is for me. Medium well slash medium no, rate you... weight. Medium well <laughs> slash medium rare depending on the steak. I don't want to see blood. I, I like seeing blood. Okay, you're moving the desk oh. so it's making people feel like they're on... They're on Tower Terror? I was going to say Tower that. Terror Terror? Tower Terror Terror! Terror the next... I can't wait to go to Disney already. Like, yeah. I'm having... Till next week. We can't go to Disney next week. It's going to be like... A long time. Well, why would they make anything happen? I guess the living room. We can do uh, the bloodier the better. Amen. No. Amen, Brooke. Amen. No. <laughs> 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 um. So after that, we went to the beach. Like after our first date, the next Saturday, we went to the beach together for the first time. We went to Sanibel. Um, I crossed three lanes of traffic to get to a Denny's. I almost died. If she wasn't, because she has a oh shit handle. By the glove box, like, I don't know what happened. Like, we were so literally... I think the problem with the It was truck, really like, oh, look, Denny, shoom! We wanted to go to breakfast and we wanted to go to the beach. But in Florida, there's, like, where we were, like, where I lived in Lehigh, there aren't... There's a lot of breakfast chains. Now in Port Charlotte, there's more mom and pop places. But the problem was with your truck, remember, it, like, wouldn't go in reverse when we first met? Right. So he couldn't, like, pull in my driveway when we first met because it wouldn't reverse... The his the truck is. We're we're looking for a new car. It's so, it's it's done. Okay, so um, we went to the beach together. We went to Denny's. Like, okay, what you're, happened? You're Cuban. Like I'm I'm burnt right now. I'm burnt to a crisp. Um, so we went to the beach, and then pretty much like from there, it was like every other not like every other day, but like I would get out of work on Monday nights. I would go to spin, and then I would like pack a bag and like come and stay up here. And we pretty much like. Every other day. It was day, alternating. It, we were just alternating. Like she would, would drive. I would drive down Tuesday. And then drive. she would drive back up Wednesday. We would go to the gym. No? We went to the gym Wednesday mornings. Wednesday mornings. So I would be, yeah. So I would be driving down Tuesday. Then Thursdays. We didn't. We Thursday would, was we my late Wednesday. day because yeah. I worked till 8. Yeah. So we didn't do anything Thursday night. But then Friday I worked till 4. I would like go run the park because you still worked until 8 at that point. Um, but pretty much we just would take turns as far as like he would drive down to Lehigh, I would drive up here to Port Charlotte, um, and we would try to make it work whether we were meeting at the gym or at the park or like he would meet me at the Target near my work. So, okay, Rob is the one who asked how you're a Bills fan, so we have to go into that. Actually, can you, you need to show everyone what you got too. Okay. So yesterday we were walking around uh, St. Armand Circle, which is near Sarasota, we walked into this shop and Terry had on his Bills shirt. So the owner was like, or the guy working, was like, oh, I see you're a Bills fan. I don't even know if this is going to fit in the frame, Terry. They can see it from there. So basically, he brings out this picture of it's the Bills stadium. stadium and what does it say? 28 yard line? 28 yard line. So it says 28 yard line. Well, the ball's at the 28 yard line. So the Bills are driving at this point. Um, but but the the, what, what stood out the most was obviously it happened on my birthday. So it says September 16th, 2012, and that Terry's birthday is September 16th, and it's a Bills thing, and it's at the Bills Stadium, and I was Which, like... Which, for the record, the Bills won that game, actually. Okay, so he was like, oh, the Bills won that game. So the guy also said he would give us a discount because we were local, in a way. Your sister wants to know when are we getting a dog. Okay, can we add, can we do one thing at a time here? Because okay. I feel like we're getting a little ADD. So how did you? So we went to St. Armand Circle yesterday. We found that Bill's picture. The guy framed it up for us. Gave us ten dollars off. I think it was a coronavirus sales tactic. But he said that since we were local, he would take ten dollars oh. off. So now we went to Home Depot and got a thing to hang it. But so how are you a Bills fan? Let's. See. So growing up Miami, obviously Jim Kelly played for the U. When the Bills went to the fourth straight. My parents rooted for the Bills and Jim Kelly to at least win one. So my parents would just shout, go Bills, go Bills, go Bills. I was probably like uh, five or six at the time. So every single time there was football on, I would always say go Bills, whether it wasn't a Bills game. So that's how I grew up to be a Bills fan. So it just kind of stuck with me. So now I think I'm more of a hardcore Buffalonian than... Uh, and she used to live in Orchard Park. So I literally used to live off Abbott, so, which is where the Bills stadium is. Um, and it's funny to me because he, before we met, like... He, I would go to Buffalo by myself. He's been to more Bills games than me. He's been to Buffalo by himself before we were even talking. Like, 
what when was your what year did you go first? Twenty fourteen. It was my first game. So he's been to Buffalo in November. It was against the Dolphins. I remember. Been on my street. Been on Abbott. I was all the way up and down Abbott, California, Southwestern. And I lived right around there. And it's just so crazy that I moved. And the to same Florida. Wegmans that her and and mom go to. I went there one time to get wings before uh, tailgating and some beer, obviously. So it's crazy that Terry's been to Buffalo more than me. Um, Coral likes here 305. Sure. Chorus bubble. So. The you. <laughs> um, Emma, we're not getting a dog because you know that Pixie and Belle hate the dogs. My sister asked, when are we getting a dog? I've told her about getting a dog. No. But, I mean. We can't do our Disney overnight trips as easily. It's a lot more, it's a lot more responsibility. Pixie and Belle did not really get along with Willow, <laughs> my sister's dog. Um. They didn't really like her, so even though Willow didn't do anything. Okay, so Maggie says, if y'all could stay at one Disney World, I think she means resort, resort for a week, which one would you pick? I think we both would agree. Coronado. On Coronado Springs, 100 times yeah. over. Especially the tower is legit. The tower we went to last month, just to like yeah. walk around. Um, the restaurant, Tapolino. No, Tapolino's. No. Is that it? No, Tapolino's no, Terrace is at Riviera. Grand Testino Tower is at the top. I forgot the Whatever name restaurant one. they have at the top or the there's terrace. Like a bar. I think it's a terrace. Yeah. It's it's really nice. Um so if we could say probably be Coronado, but like if money wasn't a, a factor, um But see, I've never I feel like Polynesian maybe. I would love to stay in one of those huts on the water. For me though, I think Grand Floridian. I know, but I've never like really been in there and I don't know if I really like the Victorian or, like or Yacht and Beach Club. Yacht and Beach Club or Boardwalk. Or if I had a nice R V or we had a nice R V for Wilderness Lodge. My or Animal Kingdom Lodge. Animal Kingdom Lodge. So too. we can't pick. <laughs> or Disney Snaps. But if the if it wasn't about money, um probably a Polynesian hut. Yeah, one of those huts that's like out on the water that you can see when you take the boat from, um, or the ferry from Magic Kingdom. I would definitely stay in one of those. Um, so yep, so really all of them. Um, except like when my mom and I stayed at All Star Music last year, it was, ugh. I mean, like I was standing in water in the shower. It just was so run down, but I know that they like updated the rooms now, but I don't even think I like the update how that Murphy bed like comes down from the wall. And it just looks still old and dingy. Yeah. Like, they just redid all the floors in the all-star music and stuff. So, um, but Coronado uh, is our favorite, hands down. That's our first Disney trip together was last June. We went yeah, to Coronado, Coronado. And I had never stayed there. I had never stayed there either. You didn't either? No, I've always stayed at all-star music. Oh. So, we both had sports. never stayed at Coronado, but they redid it, and it's super nice. Um there was a question up here about how, how do we motivate each other to keep with a healthy or balanced lifestyle. So we're like really good during the week. Yeah, the weekend. Is I like, would say, but I mean, if I'm being transparent, like we had pizza and like we're drinking and watching The Circle earlier. But we're pretty good about like doing it during the week. The hard thing is, like I'll admit, I do Weight Watchers and Terry tries to do keto. I shouldn't say tries. He does keto. He lost like nine pounds a few weeks like last week. So it's hard because we are on two different like regimens, but I think for the most part, like he knows what works for him and I know what works for me and we don't need to be doing the same thing. So like he'll, he, he's really good about like making sure I have hard boiled eggs. And if I want him to like, if I ask him, he'll make me eggs, like my waffle and peanut butter, like he will. And he's always good at like making new recipes and stuff, like making his keto fat bombs and like, I'll try those here and there. Um, In the kitchen, wrist twisting like a stir fry. Okay, Migos. <laughs> um, he made me my tuna noodle casserole. Yeah, tuna noodle casserole, guys. Like, it's not a tuna pot. It's not tuna salad. It's not tuna pasta. It's not tuna pasta. <laughs> it's a casserole. You can either eat casserole warm or cold, it's depending on how you prepare it. So, like, tuna salad doesn't normally have pasta. Neither does uh, well pasta salad normally doesn't have meat. It just has veggies. So he so. made me um, tuna noodle casserole last week again. Um, and now that he has the whole week off, I mean, I feel like the opportunities are endless. Yeah, but, playing Call of Duty. Add me on, add, add me on that PSN if y'all want to, you know, oh slay some people. Here we go. Dunkin' 305, let's go. Here we go. I'm going to be... Uh, You're going to be working. 
I, clearly, and you're going to be locked up in the bedroom playing Call of Duty. So, if anybody wants to play Call of Duty with Terry. Oh, okay. So, let's answer how we came up with the how we call each other Terry. Um, so it just so happened that we were watching that video, like the, the firework video. So there's a firework video. If you haven't seen it, it's a viral video. There's this guy in an automated like wheelchair and his friend like sets off his firework and it's about to like blow up in his face. And for some odd reason, the wheelchair just stopped working. Can you, you say it better than I do though. Oh Lord, Jay, put it in reverse. What you doing, Jay? Oh, no, Terry. He's like, what you doing, Terry? Back it up, Terry. <laughs> He's just really good at it. So we just, like, cracked up from watching that video. And I think that that is, like, that's just how we decided to call each other Terry. Terry. So Brooke so. is asking, what is your guy's favorite non-physical feature about one another? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Putting us on the spot. Put us in the hot seat. <laughs> That's far real quick. Um, I would honestly say, um, Terry's sense of humor and positivity. He is always making me laugh. He's cracking all the jokes. Even this week, when the whole quarantine thing was happening, get your leg off the desk because it's shaking the camera. When we were driving, I don't remember where we were earlier this week, but he was just like, "You can't spell quarantine without you are a Q C." And that's just like how he is. He just always makes me laugh. And he's ne he never complains, honestly. He's never negative, like doesn't really bitch or complain about anything. Sometimes. But I mean, like when you do though, like it's warranted. Whereas right. like for me, if I'm trying to get ready in the morning, say my shirt gets stuck on a hanger and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, like <laughs> fucking smack up the storm trying to get ready and out the door. And he just like never complains and just always makes me laugh, so. I mean, I think for Terry, uh, non-physical features oh, have to be, obviously, sense of humor. I think we both have a sense of humor. So, you know, even from our first date, you know, just the fact that she was able to laugh, you know, and just, you know, her laugh is is unique. And that's what makes her Terry. Um, but obviously, and then, I don't know, your, your bubbly personality. Because, you know, and just like your willingness to always like, you know, um, yeah, babe, let's do this, you know. What do you mean, yeah, babe, let's do well, this? Well, like, you know, we'll always be like, let's go to the beach. Just more spont. I guess, I guess the word I'm looking for is uh, your spontaneous personality. True. Like yesterday, we were, we just wanted to go to Five O Donut um, in Sarasota, which is about like a 40 minute drive north of us. And we got these donuts and then we're like, let's just drive by Siesta Key. And then we saw that there were some people walking on the beach and there were some like businesses open. And then next thing you know. By the way, if you guys are ever in downtown Sarasota, do not drink at MVP Lodge. Just. No, that was on Siesta Key. MVP was oh, on yeah, Siesta, yeah. Siesta Key. Oh, yeah, yeah. Siesta Key, yeah. Don't, eat, don't drink there. So we just happened to stumble upon this place called MVP, which was on Siesta Key, like yeah, beach. Most expensive. So the, they're doing to-go orders, like food to-go orders, and they're just doing like a carry-out window, and like you can get drinks to-go too. So we're like, oh, let's just get a drink and like walk on the beach. So the woman's doing a to-go order and ringing everybody out, and she says like, oh, it'll be 34 or something. And I was like, she has to be talking about the food to-go order that they're talking about. He gets the bill, and it was $34 for, we got double shots of Captain. Right. But... We could have bought a bottle of Captain. We could have bought another little thing of Captain and a Coke, a, a two liter of Coke for thirty four, seventy, whatever it was. So I was just like, mm -hmm. um, but we went to Siesta Key Beach. There were like businesses open for just like takeout and walk up. Um, and then we were like, there are signs that said you aren't supposed to park at the beach. But I was like, we can just walk through. And then the beach was pretty much open. So. Um, we just decided, like, if I'm going to get fined, there's a bunch of people on the beach that are going to get fined, too. Right. Um, and there was no sign. There was just, like, if you need help with COVID-19. There wasn't, like, if you step foot on this beach, you're going to get fined. Fine, right. And that said that that And point, everybody, for the most part, was practicing good social distancing. Like, and I think they just don't want people to go to the beach and hang out and lay around all day and, like, have your germs just be, like, right. around. Right. And plus, so, here in Florida, the germs really don't last long because it's, it's hot as fuck. Hot outside. 
There was, like, one family that had a blanket and, like, an umbrella and a chair and stuff. But compared to how Siesta Key normally is, it was pretty dead. So, um, Brooke, that is something that I would say to my husband and he'd look at me like this. <laughs> Super funny. Um, what other questions? Well, obviously people are always asking us like, when are you going to get married? That was like the number one question, obviously. Um, and where are we are going to get married? So, I mean. I think the beach is the best bet. The beach? Really? That's what you said. Right. You want to I the know, beach but like. Uh, so we struggle, obviously, with, like, Florida or Buffalo. His family is from Florida. Obviously, mine is in Buffalo. So, um, I mean, I need a ring first before you that happens. Yeah, but sure. um, as far as, like, where we want to get married, I... Uh, it's her wedding, so... Terry. That's all I got to say. Terry. So I just got to stand there, and you just got to... You just got to go to the altar. Meet me, uh, be, just make it. Um, I don't know. It's hard because I think everybody would obviously want to travel to Florida. But I think that traveling for a wedding is a lot to ask of people. And sure, Florida is like where we met. But, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. We can just pick a neutral. Spot. I know. Like, where do, we, where do we pick in the everybody middle? Everybody meet in the middle. So, I don't know where that would be. Tennessee. Terry. <laughs> okay, I guess we're getting married in Tennessee. I guess that's just been decided. So, um, Brooke said her husband would say the same thing. Because that's like the gentleman thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't really care. Like, I, I think honestly, Florida, like, I don't really want weather to be a stressor on the wedding day. And I know Florida, obviously, 90% of the time, it's like sunny and nice outside. But all you would need is... I don't know. I just stress about everybody, like, getting there and... Listen, you tell people in Buffalo, October, November, hey, there's a wedding in Florida, you bet, you're gonna, you bet they're going to book. I know, but I just feel like there's a lot to consider as far as, like, airfare, hotel, like, getting to the venue or wherever, and... Well, it's not like, you know, I don't know. Port Charlotte doesn't really have a wedding venue. Oh, uh, who the fuck? I'm not getting married in Port Charlotte. No, I know, but I'm just saying. Like, uh, I th fuck no. I, who the f no, thanks. <laughs> so, okay, what other questions do we have? How are there only two people on here? No, there's one person. Gonna Brooke? Bring, are we going to bring Brooke in? No, she that, she put that on accident, I think. No. Brooke, raise your hand if you want <laughs> no, to join doesn't. in. she doesn't. She does not. Yes, yeah, she does. Watch. No, she doesn't. Watch. She, she, she does. accidentally clicked it. <laughs> When you see how there's these buttons at the bottom, you can like accidentally click things. Mm, uh, true. So, no, but there's somebody else here. I don't know if the connection. I think maybe the connection's bad. No, we got connection. I don't know. What other questions do we have? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Is anyone watching the circle? We just started watching the circle. He's not a fan. I'm obsessed. I think it's like Love Is Blind, but like society, socially. Love is blind. Get married. get married, question mark. Yeah, we are. We just said, like, Terry has to ask me, obviously. Mm -hmm. so. Which I think coronavirus kind of. No, it had nothing to do with coronavirus. No? No. Um, basically, I told him that he can't do it at my marathon because I'm already going to be, like, freaked out from running a marathon. And I don't even know if the Buffalo Marathon is going to be a thing. Um, but. I don't want, like, my marathon and our engagement to be, like, together, if that makes any sense. I want my marathon to be, like, its own thing. And then our engagement to be, like, its own thing. So, I definitely don't want it then. And Terry also knows I don't want it on a holiday. Yeah, not at Disney. And not at Disney. Everyone keeps saying, like, oh, my God, like, what if he proposes to you at Disney? Like... That's the most cliche thing. I If you, like, want to get proposed to at Disney and that's, like, what you're after. But I just think it's super cliche. And the whole, like, oh, it's happily ever after. And, like, you're in front of the castle. Like, I don't want to be proposed to in bunch of, um, in front of a million strangers at Cinderella's castle. I just, that's not something that I want. Yeah, it's going to be something for, obviously, for us. I don't know. I mean, nobody needs to explain. I mean, yeah. Congrats to everybody that's gotten engaged at Disney World, but you know, this is you know, it's between me and you. Terry. And everybody else. Why is that cute? 
Why are you so cute right now? I ain't cute. He's so cute right now. Um, so yeah, definitely known to Disney. Um, and I don't want to be pro- like holiday is of no go, and uh, definitely not at my marathon either. So. It leaves you a lot of opportunities. It leaves me with uh, 48 other states. <laughs> 50, 50 United States. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, if I said no to even New York. I'm like also getting over cold. Well, not really getting over. But we have a cold. So. Coronavirus. Terry, it's not the coronavirus. <laughs> Every time we said that, like today, we're like, we should just take a shot. Like anytime anybody says coronavirus, like Cardi B, we should just do a shot. Mm-hmm. But I'd probably already be on the ground. So, so yeah, we start watching The Circle. I think it's a good show. He doesn't like it. And that's just because like dudes typically aren't into social media. All London weddings are canceled until September. Yikes. Well, I already told him, like, I know, well, you want a fall wedding, don't you? But since it's our, it's because your foot is on the disc. But since it's already a March, it's already a March. It's already March. That's like not enough time. No. No. So. We need time. We need people to get ready. We need. I need time to to lose my gut in order to fit into a dress. That's what I need time for. So, um. I'm sorry to hear about London weddings being canceled until September. That is intense. I think the whole world was just shut down for 30 days. 30 days? Yeah. If you shut everything down for 30 days, everything would like... But I still think when you get people together, they're going to be infected. Like, so yeah, people carry after, shit all the time. Yeah, but not after 30 days. They're saying it's yeah, 14 but, days for, you know... But if I'm sick and I don't know that I'm sick and like I... I'm home for 30 days and I get to day 30 and I'm sick and I go out into the world and I go to Target and I touch something or touch something to somebody else. You would go to Target. Right, but I'm just saying, like, no matter what, people are always going to be carrying, like, a sickness or people are not going to know that they're carrying a sickness. Right. So I think that, like, sure, quarantine the world for two weeks, but, yeah, it'll flatten the curve, but people are still going to be sick and, like, carrying stuff around. 2020 March, yeah, it's already March, so. But I am psycho I don't really want to get married in 2021. Oh, look at it. I just hit my move goal. Oh, Ooh, move goal achieved. Um, so, I don't know. I don't really want, like, a 2021 wedding, but. Who's left on here? Um, we got one person. I know. I don't know what we did. Or yeah, we're just super know. fucking boring. Yeah, I know. You're boring, Terry. I'm boring. I'm just just kidding. It's the Terry's together that are boring. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, any other questions? I'm sure Brooke had to like go make dinner or do something like productive. But. Oh, she only got some people. My mom works in a nursing home, and she's just texting me about um, how they're still getting people to get their residents together at dinner. What are you going to press? Stop it. Don't press anything. I don't want to go live with any of these people. Oh, no, no, never mind. Oh, my gosh. Um, my mom works at a nursing home part-time, and she's texting me that they're still getting their residents together at dinner, and she said so much for social distancing. But my mom asked us about some jokes, like, what's a funny joke about what's... Oh, I didn't even get this. My mom said, what's the best kind of joke to tell when you're quarantined? I, I told you that... An inside joke. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see that she said that. I thought my mom was legit asking me, like, what's the best kind of joke to tell when you're quarantined? Yes, the Terry. Yay, Kelly, I'm so glad you're here. Um, so my mom had texted us earlier, and she was like, what's the best kind of joke to tell when you're quarantined? So I, like, ran to get my phone, and I was like, I have to tell her the joke that Terry told me. And it was like, you can't spell quarantined without. You are a QT. You are a cutie. Belle's like, I'm done with this. But my mom said an inside joke. Ah ha ha. Ah, ha, ha. I just read that now. Um, and then my my mom said, what do you call a teenager during the coronavirus? What do you call a teenager, teenager during the coronavirus? 
A quarantine. A quarantine. Oh my gosh, we should totally do like a mixology live. I mean, Kelly's asking how we make our bomb ass blue marks. Basically, you, Terry does that. Don't you want a blue mark right now? No, I don't, Terry. I can't mix rum and tequila right now. We're it's, drinking. It's very easy. And Coke. It, you just need three things: tequila, marg mix, blue curacao. How about it? Yep. Yeah, so we are kind of tequila snobs now. Um, oh, there's a really good tequila that my well, my aunt and uncle gave us for Christmas. It's Maestro Tequila by Juan Dobo. Isn't it in the freezer? It's in the freezer. Might as well get it. So we have a tequila that we love. There's a Marg Mix. Mrs. Is it Mrs. T's or Mr. T's? Uh, it's Mr. T's, but Master of Mixes Handmade Margarita Mixture. And that's the one we have right now, but I don't yeah. like that one a lot. You don't like that one a lot? Not, it's not my favorite. I actually, I like that one a little bit. So, pretty much um, the Mexican restaurant we go to down the street, they have this like blue ocean marg that we're obsessed with. But the jumbo is like $25 a mark so we were like let's just look at the menu and see how to make it but his didn't want to bianca get us this no this was monica uh, monica and ernesto oh okay just kidding so 12 out of 10 recommend maestro tequila it's just in the freezer so but i mean how we have like enough to do a shot in here we're not doing that right now maestro tequila <laughs> and then you just get a mark mix we are not drinking it right out of the bottle right now on live terry Send help. Terry. Um, so you just get a Marg mix. You can get like skinny girl Marg mixes, but if I'm drinking a Marg, I'm not doing skinny girl Marg. Um, Mrs. T Mr. T's or Make Mrs. sure you T's. get the Blanco. They do make a diamond version, which is the, the label is black. This is the blue label. Is uh, But doesn't Blanco mean Tequila white? Blanco Classico. Well, silver really. But 12 out of 10 recommend. So we should do like a mixology live sometime. But we get um just a regular Marg mix, but Mrs. T's I recommend. Is that an ABC liquor? Pretty much. I think Mrs. T's Walmart or Mr. Carries T's. It too. Yeah, Walmart does carry that one too. We don't have that one right now. And then we get blue curacao. Wanna go show them what blue curacao looks like? Go get the blue curacao. Make a post about your recipe. Yes, we will. Go get the blue curacao. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you here today? I literally just said a five times. What you doing, Tim? He's on another planet right now, I guess. So we just get blue curacao, which you can also get at Walmart. They sometimes have it in like a squirt bottle. Um, I don't think we really measure. Do we measure? Not really. We just like eyeball it, which is probably not ideal. But um, what are you getting? The blue curacao. But it sounds like you're like into a million things right now. No. Yeah. What's in your hand? Oh, I brought you an Oreo cookie. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, gross. Here, an Oreo cookie. I'm not eating an Oreo right now. Okay. So, this is blue curacao. You There's just, another bottle in the fr in the fridge. Um, It just is sometimes found, like, in the mixing. Did you just drop it on the ground? No. <laughs> you are literally a child sometimes. Um, But they sell this at Walmart, too. Like, around the mixes and you just do a little squirt squirt to make it look blue you can get there's like a because it's premium orange oils pure cane sugar so there is like 12 grams of sugar in two tablespoons of they this they also saw an alcoholic version of it an alcoholic this is not alcoholic mm -hmm. this one's not alcoholic oh right. this one is yes premium alcohol free is the other one alcoholic though no so i guess we just get non-alcoholic blue curacao i mean with three shots of tequila with three shots of tequila. Three shots, Terry? Who needs alcoholic curacao? Okay, I'm not going to eat this, so. Okay, thanks. I'll eat one. Um, we're eating Oreos now, apparently. But this has been really fun. I think we're going to try to keep up with, like, a talk with Terry. Terry, you going to say bye to everyone? We have bye. to finish washing the circle. Terry doesn't like it. We can do these on Sundays. Okay, we can do these on Sundays. If you guys agree to do these on Sundays, let us know. Tuesday. Oh, what am I saying? Tuesday. I guess I was thinking Terry Talks Tuesday, but we could just do like Sunday Terry Talk. Sunday Fun Day Terry Talk. So let us know what you guys want to see. What questions you have. For next week's episode. For next week's episode. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Is that, is that what's coming, that's next, what's coming Terry? next, Terry? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, if you hung out with us for 45 minutes, you're a saint. And we had a great time. And then we see you out there. Blue mark on me. 
If we see you out there, Terry, no one lives in Port Charlotte. Well, we may go somewhere and they may live there. Oh, okay. You know? Oh my gosh, traveling with the Terrys. That's the uh, that's our YouTube channel right there. That's our YouTube channel right there. But we're not we don't really travel that much, so I think we're just gonna do like a Terry talks and we'll upload stuff there. So okay, bye everyone. Peace. See you later. See, look, I can't save it. And now.